I did it. Okay, so we have a battle simulator of sorts at, and it works, right? Think of it like a turn-based combat system. So you need a turn meter generator so that, uh, uh, the way I described it to a friend that doesn't play video games, it's like you've got a bunch of cups that are filling with water, right? And when the cup gets full of water, it has to be drank. Okay, so every cup fills at a different rate. A certain amount of drops go into each cup, depending on the speed of the pour into the cup, right? This represents the speed of each character. So as a character, it adds to its turn meter based on its inherent speed. Um, I got that to work. <laughs> so I have a turn meter generator. It works. Yay. Uh, I, I spent like a whole amount of time okay anywhere between 20 minutes and one day of work, uh, developing a kind of tiebreaker because so i was like how can i do this in a fair way so that if multiple people are at max turn meter then whoever's chosen to go is kind of like a coin flip right and not the hardest problem it was just fun to try to figure out how to do that because my my winners list the the list of turn meter filled characters uh, it was just that a list so in order to draw the winner, I was like, yeah, let's flip a coin. Um, then I realized I was being silly. Just make the list into a queue. So whoever gets there first, they get pulled out first. Way easier. Just use data structures. Problem solved. Um, <laughs> kind of fun to go back and comment out the whole tiebreaker system, but that's fine. That's fine. And a lot of learning being done. I'm loving learning A, the stuff in Python necessary, it's the stuff, very technical term, um, necessary for this object oriented approach. It's like the syntax of it's very different because I, I keep thinking in terms of Java and it's, it's different. You know what I mean? It's just different. Like global variables in Python were kind of a new beast for me. I, I, I couldn't figure out why things weren't updating properly. And then I realized it's because I'm not declaring globals in each of my methods properly. Um, and probably a, there, there's most likely a better way to go about what I'm doing in, in the sense of global variables. Everything on Stack Exchange is like avoid this if you can. So I'm probably making some kind of amateur mistakes. Eh, fair, fair. But I'm having fun, and the machine works. And now I've got a um, like take action button right now in the in the game, and it kind of like you select what you're gonna do, and you hit the take action button. It makes it happen. Okay, could this be streamlined later? Of course, of course. But right now I just want to get something functional. Okay, get something that you can actually play with, and <laughs> you hit take action, and the displays aren't updating. Okay. All right, so that's the current thing I got to figure out. It's it's very fun. I'm liking it. That's where I'm at with that project. Um, I've got some plans laid out for the next two projects. There's three in total I want to get done before I'm super comfortable applying to these jobs. But really, I should start after this project. Start sending some feelers out there. Start getting interview practice. Start exposing myself to the industry more and after those three projects i'll be in a much better place to be accepted to a job absolutely totally get that but in the meantime i, I shouldn't be stunting my interview experience and and growth in that regard because i'm going to be asked a lot of questions that i probably don't know how to answer right now so that'll be that'll be interesting to see how that pans out and uh yeah i'm very excited it's it's very fun work uh, right now, definitely focusing more on the app side of things rather than any kind of web development or or um, anything else for that regard. I'm, I'm thinking that my break-in into the coding industry altogether, no matter what it is, is going to be in apps. Cool. Cool. So why did he start with Python if he, if he was going to do apps? Because low entry, low barrier of entry. The learning curve is super shallow. And, and um, shallow is not the opposite of steep, is it? Next up, code a dictionary app. Uh, <laughs> thesaurus even. No, definitely dictionary, right? Opposites. I don't know. Do you do you look up synonyms and antonyms in a in a dictionary or a thesaurus? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, Python is used a lot in data science and in machine learning algorithms. So 
that is definitely why I started there because I had a class on Udemy that taught machine learning material in Python. And um, so here we are. First projects made in Python. Next one, I'm thinking C sharp. Definitely C sharp. <laughs> That's all I got for now. So I'm going to go back, try to figure out why my action button isn't updating things. Wee! And uh, we'll update you again in the next few days. Cool. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Then if I'm